What you're going to do is you're going to split your hands, uh, left hand at the top of the grip, and then right hand down the shaft, and then just take your stance. From there, we're going to get to the top of the swing. As we've talked about in videos before, it's really important to turn your shoulders very steep with the ground, drop that left side, so your left side's low, you're leaning into the target. And then from this position, we're trying to feel like we're pulling the club down, so the club hands and arms pulling them down to halfway and stopping. Back up, down. Okay, what I'm feeling is my legs activate. Okay, I can feel the muscles activating here. I can feel pressure going down into the ground, right? I'm stacked, my upper body is stacked directly on top of my lower body, so I'm perfectly balanced. Now I'm in a great position to actually use the ground properly to to turn through the ball and pick up some club head speed. Also, what this drill is doing from the top, it's giving me a sense of getting the club down into the correct delivery position. So we need this shaft parallel with the toes there, and that's exactly where you want to be. You can afford to be a little bit either side of that. So if you're fading, you're going to be out here a little bit, drawing out here, but too far either side of that, you're really gonna to struggle to hit good golf shots. So what I recommend is take your setup to the ball, do a couple of these drills, get that feeling, pull in the arms and club down, feel it in your legs, feel it in your feet. Down, okay, I can feel that pressure going down into the ground. Just watch from this angle again. So I take my setup, really feel it in the legs and the feet okay your legs your feet your hands these are really really sensitive so you've got to be really aware of them in your golf swing you've got to be aware of the club head as well this is really important and the shaft that's what the g4 swing train is really good for because the shaft is super flexible gives you a lot more awareness of the club head the shaft if you're yanking it around too much it's going to flex around too much but it's really going to help you with the whole timing of the downswing because the downswing movement consists of many different moving parts. So the G4 swing train is really help you with smoothing the transition out and helping you time that downswing movement, especially with this drill, you're going to get amazing feedback from it. So then you go to the ball, do a couple of the drills. One, so I feel like I'm almost squatting a little bit. This is really important. Like if you look at Tommy Fleetwood, great example, look at his, some of his slow motion swings on YouTube, you'll see as he comes down, pretty, you know, pretty much exactly the same move I'm doing here, that there's a squat, the legs are activated, the feet are pushing into the floor, the arms and club are getting accelerated down into the delivery position, and then he can use the ground now more effectively because he's stacked, his upper body stacks on top of his lower body, uh, he can use the ground then to, to twist, turn, and increase the club head speed. So then we go to the ball with that feel. Feel it, don't think it. And repeat. So that transition there just felt a little bit snatchy for me, a little bit quick, because I can feel it in the shaft. So the downswing, I'm gonna try and 
accelerate down gradually. I'm gonna make sure it changes direction first, like a swing in the park before I try and apply any power to it. That was better. So once we've got the feeling that we need from, from the drill, then we go straight to the ball. So we go to the ball, we've got the feeling we need from the drill. We try and stay relaxed, feel the grip, feel your fingers on the grip, feel the weight of the club head, feel your feet, feet on the floor, and then just fire away, switch off. Ripped. And if it wasn't ripped, we'd do the drill again, get the feeling and repeat.